U.S. President Donald Trump just made headlines again, this time not about politics, but about medicine. He warned people against using Tylenol, also known as acetaminophen or paracetamol, claiming it could be harmful, even linked to autism in children. Like it is, don't take Tylenol. Don't take it if you just can't. I mean, it's just fight like hell not to take it. There may be a point where you have to and that you'll you have to work out with yourself. So don't take Tylenol. So is Tylenol really unsafe or is this another case of misinformation? Let's break it down. Trump's don't statement was Tylenol. bold. Don't, don't take, take Tylenol. It. That you, sounds scary, right? After all, Tylenol is one of the most widely used pain and fever medicines worldwide. Millions of people, including pregnant women, take it every year. But before you toss out your medicine cabinet, let's see what science actually says. Acetaminophen is considered a first-line treatment for mild pain and fever by the World Health Organization and the FDA. When taken in the right dose, it's generally safe, much safer than many other painkillers, especially during pregnancy. Now, some observational studies have raised concerns about a possible link between long-term acetaminophen use during pregnancy and autism in children. But here's the catch. These studies cannot prove cause and effect. Many experts, including the European Medicines Agency and the World Health Organization, have reviewed the evidence and concluded the data is not strong enough to say Tylenol causes autism. In fact, not treating fever or severe pain in pregnancy may itself pose risks both to the mother and the baby. So what's the safe approach? Use acetaminophen only when needed. Stick to the recommended dose, no more than 4,000 milligrams per day for adults. If you're pregnant, consult your doctor before prolonged use. In other words, it's about moderation and medical guidance, not fear and panic. Trump's statement made headlines, but it oversimplified a complex medical issue. Medicine is rarely black and white. At the end of the day, Tylenol remains one of the safest pain relievers we have when used responsibly. So, what do you think? Do you believe politicians should be making medical claims, or should we leave that to the doctors and scientists? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective. <laughs> so and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to AI Metatalks for more evidence-based health discussions that cut through the noise.